introduce to you uh, a song um, which is going to appear in the Folklore Open Session book, Volume 3, which is our next book, which should be out springtime next year, 2021, uh, hopefully in ready for festival season. Um, I'm going to start introducing some of the songs that will be appearing in that book over the next few months. In these videos, we're going to talk about the historical context of the songs, or we might talk about uh, how I've arranged the songs, um, depending on which song it is. Um, we should talk about different aspects. So, today's song that I'm going to introduce you to is Strive Pressure. Hey, young man in a village place, great actor for fisherman with family so great, a wife and nine children, most of them small. This song I came across um, during a project I was doing through Coda Music Trust or Coda Music Centre with the New Forest National Parks Association. There was a project where I had been asked to arrange some songs to do with forest life. Um, the the songs were given to me uh, just to try and arrange, and they're being fitted with a few various walks that are happening around the New Forest. So I was given the uh, lyrics to the song. Um, now the first thing in researching this song, you'll notice that very quickly you realise there is another song that is called The Thresherman and the Squire. And as the name suggests, it's exactly the same song, but with all the words kind of in a different order. Still the same story um, and everything else about it is kind of the same. It's just the same words, but mixed up a bit. So the story of this song is basically about uh, a nobleman uh, and his thresherman. I think in this case we can kind of talk about a thresherman as being just somebody who works the land owned by a nobleman. The nobleman is the squire. Uh, squire in itself is quite an interesting term to use because the squire uh, will revert back to medieval times where a squire was the uh, flag bearer of a knight um, but often quite a high-born uh, young man uh, would be a squire. So over, you fast forward a few hundred years and that squire has become any nobleman, any any lord of the manor. So the nobleman is uh, coming along and he meets his thresherman and he is so impressed by how the thresherman lives and how he is contented with life despite not having all the riches and the comfortable life that the nobleman enjoys. He asks him how he does it and the, the Thresherman turns to him and says, oh, I, you know, I work hard and I enjoy the simple pleasures of the, the family. And then the nobleman is so impressed by this that he gives him 50 acres of land, uh, which he can, I suppose in modern terms, have a small holding. Um, so it's, it's a nice song for that one, uh, different to many in the English tradition. There's no murder, there's no death, and there's no sex. It's just a nice song about uh, a nice person doing a nice thing. So here is the version that I was passed uh, to arrange. As you can see, there's no music to this, it's just lyrics. So in arranging this song, the first place that I start off with is trying to find what rhythm it is or what time signature the song is in. So I do this by reading through the lyrics uh, and trying to find where the pulse kind of fits around it. And you can see the first line of this, a young noble man lived in a village of late. Now you can kind of count the fact that A is gonna come before the bar. So you go A young, that was kind of sort of standard. So you have to go through a young noble man in a village of late. Now automatically in there, you can kind of hear where the the accents are going to be. So you go a young noble man in a village of late. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got that now that's in six, eight. 
simple as that. So you look at it and kind of go, right, okay, so we can fit that into a six, eight bar. You could fit it into other bars. You could mess around. The beauty of this kind of music is that you can, uh, you can mess around with it as much as you like. You can try and play it in four, four, or you can try and do a three, four, or whatever you like. But the simplest sort of form of that one, it does seem to fit into a six, eight bar. So you get a young noble man in a village of late. And now we've got a very, very basic sort of tune to it. A young noble man in a village of late. Okay. So that gives us the rhythm of the tune. So once we've got that kind of set up, then we can kind of start looking at the chords. So looking at the chords, then it's a case of trying to find that rhythm that we've got with the lyrics, uh, trying to put some sort of melody to it, and then just trying to find what chords fit to it. So we start with a young noble man in a village of late. So I get one, two, three, da, 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 da. he kept a poor Prussian man with family so great. Kind of finding that, and then finding what chords kind of fits that. The first chord that you find will generally be the key. There's lots of sort of playing around and going, da, 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 just trying to find which one it is. Um, I've played this around, I found it on D minor. So, you know, a man in a village of late, very kept up a freshman with family so great. Um, and then from that point on, you just got to find where you want to put the chords. The chords can usually fit in. Uh, on, on several places, you know, there's no right or wrong answer to this. So the way I looked at it was I'd go a young man in a village of late. So there's two the village and late. So a young noble man in a village of late. So that's the F and the C that I go to. So and the chords that I'm choosing here, this is where it's useful to know your keys, your diatonic harmony. Um, because if I know that I'm in D minor, got that, then I know that there's a certain amount of chords that I'm going to use. So F and C are always going to be there. I mean, I could have ended up using a, a B flat, or um, uh, you could decide this was a, a modal, um, which I think we kind of end up in. So you go D minor, and you've got C, and you've got F. You could also have uh, E minor, A minor. You know, there's a certain set of chords that you are sort of going to be hanging on. So I went for D minor, F and C. So we have the basis of the tune there. So we got a young noble man in a village of late, where he kept a poor thresher man with family so great. A wife and nine children, most of them small, with none but his labour to maintain them all. So that gives you the kind of basic tune of the basic chord sequence now. Um, but to play that like that all the way through the song would be uh, kind of long-winded. I don't think the, uh, the song would drag on a bit. So we've got to put some sort of interest in it. Firstly, finishing off the verse. So you can hear where the end of the verse is musically as well as just in lyrics. So a young noble man in a village of place Where he kept a poor thresher man with family so great A wife and nine children, most of them small to maintain them all. So we find that So that's an ending there. So we're ending on the D minor. Uh, which is always a good sort of fail safe if you end on the chord that you started on. It resolves it nicely. So we're kind of there now. We've kind of got a song uh, in place. So um, I think the only thing that I sort of added in there to create a bit more just hanging the note on the third line on the small just hanging that note just kind of seems to fit in and gives you the chance to, to do the last line of the verse um, with quite a nice sort of limp to it so basically got the song there and that's how you start um, the arranging of this. So now I'm thinking about putting a tune in it because 
because the uh, songs that we put together are for sessions, so we'll try and put something in there, even if we're doing a song, there's always going to be a tune in there for mandolins and fiddle players to play. Uh, it also breaks up the song quite nicely as well, so with, with a lot of folk songs, not this one in particular, but a lot of folk songs, you have a lot of verses. So it's nice to actually break up those verses with a bit of instrumental in between. So uh, the way I go about on the tune, uh, again, because I'm looking for this to be used in sessions and our open sessions, trying to keep things simple. So I use the same chord sequence in this case for the verses and for the tune. So to start off with, what I do is I get my loop pedal going uh, and record that tune down. Lines or uneven amounts of verses and lots of other different things. 
I'll talk to you a bit about how I go about arranging those to be as, as simple as they can uh, to get more people being able to access these songs and being able to play them. But for that one, that's it. So we have uh, a, a new song uh, going into the fold of the uh, folk folk repertoire. Uh, it will be appearing in book three that will be out in springtime next year, 2021. Um, so look out for the next song, uh, which will be Jail Song, which I will be doing a video on over the next couple of weeks. Um, and uh, yeah.